it's a, uh, I think a hub for for creative activity for Australia and I mean it certainly has an international reputation so it's nice to be involved with it um, and involved with some of the people working here we feel like they've really embraced us and really the Jam Factory is one of the reasons we came to Adelaide I'm here studying for my master's degree and sort of through a number of our associates we, we had heard about the program and people like Nick Mount coming through Canada and um, Gabriella Bassetto and others from Adelaide area um, we grew to really learn about the place and, and sort of through their visits to Canada a number of our friends and, and my former students have, have come to Adelaide. I've been kind of inspired by my experience here you know in Australia uh, the past sort of eight months I've been sort of noticing a lot of the you know different kind of natural environment and that for me is really inspiring in my practice. The other kind of inspiring aspect of it is just the environment at the Jam Factory is a really creative place so it's kind of nice to be sort of a part of that. You know like even just being up here in the ceramic studio you know looking around and being like wow this is you know look at this person's making and and uh, and I think you know there's a real high level of quality at the Jam Factory that I don't think you see in a lot of places in the world. The program that Tyler teaches at at the, at the Alberta College of Art and Design, the students from that program have come here as associates and it's been a long kind of history of exchange there and, and it's kind of nice for us now to be a part of that. I think that uh, every artist has you know a set of skills and stuff that they're bringing to the material that they're working with and so anytime that there's an opportunity for a, a collaborative sort of exchange or dialogue uh, I think it reinforces everybody's practice. And I think we've increasingly become interested in, in using assembly techniques to combine processes and, and, and interconnect things. And I think I see that definitely happening here at the Jam Factory with some artists work like Tom Moore, who's taking bits and pieces of, of glass and assembling them to become one sculpture and then in fact doing installations and that sort of stuff with it. Australia is such a, like a striking, you know, singular environment. You know, there, I don't really think there's another place in the world that is like it. I mean, in terms of plants, animals, you know, geology, you know, you name it. There's just so, it's so unique. And I think that, you know, you'd have to really work hard to not kind of be impacted by it. I, I'm just really fascinated by the fact that there's like, you know, space, especially in places like the desert, there's... Um, these animals and plants that sort of exist underneath the earth and they're just sort of basically hibernating in a semi-dry state until the next rain comes and I just I think that's fascinating that there's this all this life that's sort of under the ground I think some of those ideas I'm trying to have kind of come through in some of the pieces that I'm making I kind of hope to sort of kind of continue traveling around Australia and having more sort of experiences um, you know just really experiencing the landscape and being kind of inspired by that. The glass art community is really, you know, it's not, it's not a really large community in the world. And I think, you know, it's really important to kind of connect, um, you know, in an international kind of way. And I think, it, it, I think that's what is great about the jam, sort of having like, you know, unofficial kind of Canada month and inviting, you know, Carol and Patrick and Tyler and myself and I guess after Canada Month, we go back to celebrating Australia every day because it's been a <laughs> real treat to be here. Yeah.